All right, Virginia Zoological Park. This is really nice. The elephant made out of all different animals. Nice, hours are operation and pricing. Hey everybody, Tom here for Tom's Road Trip and I am Norfolk, Virginia, visiting the Virginia Zoo. You can see it's a little drizzly day today. The rain is supposed to be very sporadic. So there'll be times when it's a little drizzly, but I do have my umbrella to keep myself and my camera dry. And there'll be other times where it's not going to be raining at all. Hopefully we'll be able to see as much as possible in between the rainstorms. But summertime means rain. Uh, the train currently, while it's raining, is not in operation. Hopefully, when there's a point of time when there's no rain, the train will be running. I'm looking forward to that because you get a nice view of the actual zoo around the property. I'm gonna start walking the park and see what we see. As you can see, I got my hat. If you're familiar with my channel, I always get a hat of all the places that I go to. Nice souvenir, helps out the zoo or attraction I'm going to, and it protects my head. Even though it's going to be a nice rainy day, overcast, I still like to have a hat. Alright, so from the main entrance, which is right here, get this giant entry plaza. All right, so I'm showing you the map in the entry plaza. Train station is straight in the middle. Train will not be operating while it was raining. Like I said, hopefully a little bit later in between rain, the train will run. So I'm gonna hit the right side of the park and see the stuff there before we continue over and do the rest of the zoo. All right, well, this area is temporarily closed. So I guess I won't be showing you this. This is the petting zoo. But I do see a porcupine running around. Yeah, porcupine. Enjoying the rain. What's up, buddy? All of his quills. Very nice. And his evening habitat is open. You see, just one inside. And peacock enjoying the rain. Doesn't really have a choice. Taking a stroll. Alright, so we got Trail of the Tiger. Hopefully, we will see some animals. All right, Trail of the Tiger, we got orangutan area up first. So you can see this is their habitat. Now they are gonna be inside at the moment. Any animals that I don't see the first time, I'll come back around again, and hopefully they will be out at some portion of the day. Next up is Samangs. This is the Samangs area. Also, these animals are inside at the moment, and it's still early. It's not even technically 10 o'clock when the actual zoo opening is. And then we have a sun bear. Doesn't look like our sun bear is out yet. But this is his habitat. All right, so some mangs are here, and they are on their inside habitat which is just fine you see it looks like they're having some breakfast now the window is a little bit wet a lot of humidity with the rain
Ooh. That looks like fun. <laughs> All right, so this is the orangutan's indoor habitat. And the orangutan is right here. Oh, she underneath a blanket. Just like people sleeping underneath a blanket. So I'll definitely come back a little bit later. All right, we got a Saurus crane. Down here. These are the birds enjoy the weather when it's raining. Yeah, their feathers keep them keep them pretty dry. There's the other one. I like the red coloring on their head. Hi, how you doing? Alright, cross. Now we got red panda. So it's showing you the habitat because there is signage here that says animal off of habitat. Some of the zoo animals are also susceptible to the coronavirus. Those animals are off habitat to protect them, which I 100% understand. So we're up on a nice boardwalk. And you can tell it's supposed to be Asia because you got all the bamboo and the nice lanterns. You know, damp squirrel right here. Damp squirrel. All right, we got a rhinoceros hornbill. Oh, I love these birds. Look at that. Hello, birdie. How are you? Enjoying the wet weather, maybe? Possibly. And on the other side of the habitat, they got another rhinoceros hornbill. Hello. All right, and we got a bitterong. Now, there's no telling if it is out right now. And I just, or it is out and I just can't see it. All right, we got Milan Taper. I do not see him at the moment. So again, I will come back later. All right, hopefully you can see through the foliage here. We got a southern cassowary. There's a couple of them here. Walking in the puddles. There's been a lot of rain last few days in the area. Hey birdie bird! You guys are related to the ostrich and emu. And we got an Asiatic black bear. This bear is not letting a little bit of rain dampen his spirits. I've never seen this particular species of bear in a zoo before. He's cute. Another view of them. Do the bamboo. All right, around the bend, got the Malayan taper. This apparently is Roscoe. Got panda bear colors. Got that cool long nose. It's very unique looking animal. Very nice. Other view of the bear's habitat. This guy's got nice space. 
Got a nice waterfall. Chris doesn't have to worry about water today. All right, and we got white cheek gibbon. You see part of their habitat. And their doorway is open to their indoor habitat, so they can come and go as they choose to. Just doesn't look like they're out at the moment, so I will come back a little bit later. There's a restroom location in this building. I like all the little design aspects of the zoo. Alright, in the same habitat as the white cheek gibbon, we get Asian small clawed otter. So as you can see, the water is very, very murky. The otters are right in the back by this doorway. I can't get a really close look because the glass is wet. So if I try to zoom in anymore, the image becomes obscured a lot. So I will come back later, check out the white cheek gibbons, and hopefully the otters will be out playing too. So no trail to the tiger is complete without a Malayan tiger. So this is the Malayan tiger's habitat. Alright, so I followed the path around, and Malayan Tiger is out right now. I'm sorry about the two sets of wires, but there is a safety fence, and then there's an the actual chain link that makes up the you know the habitat. It is nice to be able to see them. The other Malayan tiger. So there's two of them in here. See, so the other one scared him. So here's the other one. <laughs> scared him a little bit. This is around the side. There we go. And there's the other one that. We saw originally along the glass, I mean along the fence. So two of the orangutans are outside in the habitat now. There we go. There we go. It's like looking at my camera. Very nice. It's like, what is that thing? That's pretty cool. These animals are camera shy, they don't want to be seen. And that's the second orangutan. Alright, so I made my Trail of the Tiger loop. And we're gonna continue going down this path here. Hey. All right, so I'm right near the event pavilion, hey, Mommy, number ten. As we see the Asia Tiger Trail, so we're gonna head up and see some of the larger animals of the African Okavango Delta. And they do have an animal wellness campus. They're able to care for all the animals on the property. Very important for a good zoo to have good zoo staff to care for all the animals' needs. All right, so this area does have restrooms. And the one eatery is open. I'm gonna go inside, get a drink. All right, so this is their menu boards. We got snacks, a la carte menu, and beverages. Got the village of Zagzaba. I'm sure I'm saying it wrong. This is a representation of their huts that they live in. So they're up off the ground to protect themselves from predators. They would pull up the ladder at night. Got the village of life, Makaros. Mm. 
right here we're gonna see some Hartman's Mountain Zebra and Watusi cattle. Tell the Watusi cattle their giant horns that they've got. And then more zebra butts. I always seem to get zebra butts on my videos and I apologize for that. I don't do it intentionally, it just happens. There we go. Man, that's gonna be heavy for their head. So it's got the largest horns of any breed of cattle. And they range up to eight feet from horn, from base to tip. And they're zebras. Poor guy must have a horn heavier on his right side. He's got his head sort of tilted. Got marsh and swamp. And then we got the Okavango Delta. Alright, Southern Grand Hornbill. Got some Red River Hog. Or Red River Hog, since there are multiple piggies here. Getting a drink. I'm talking about water's filtered, guys. I don't know. Get the nice white stripes along their backs. Cute little piggies. There's three of them too. I hope there's not a big bad wolf near here. Alright, cheetahs. You guys got a nice habitat. And I see them right here. Hi cheetahs, how are you? Hi. I had to open up my umbrella again, it's starting to drizzle. So they don't care about the rain. They're just out here relaxing. Now there's green stuff on top of the water. It may look like sludge, but it's actually naturally occurring and it is signs of a healthy ecosystem. We are heading into a boardwalk area again. Information on the woodlands. All right, Bongo. Oh, I love these guys. It's one of my favorite zoo animal. Just like their stripes. We got some Maasai giraffe. You hear the lion over there. Sounds angry. Must be mad about the rain. Maasai giraffes have a little bit different markings than the reticulated giraffe. Got a junior giraffe there too. Still taller than me, I'm sure. All right, we see some Stanley Crane. And the two cranes are over here by the bongos. An Egyptian goose. I see the Egyptian goose. Now there is a gate open so they can go to both sides. Saw the bongos over here by the Egyptian goose. So this whole area is a large platform, so you get a nice high up view of all the animals that are in this area. Same with the giraffes, they got yellowback duker, southern ground hornbill, and even ostrich. 
The only animals I see out at the moment are the giraffe. Hi. How are you? Oh, this little one is so cute. So I'll check back a little bit later to see if the yellowback duker and the ostrich are out. Information on research in the wild. That's a white-headed buffalo weaver. Hello, little birdie. Hi. Hi, birdie bird. All right, white rhinoceros. Looks like the white rhinoceros is in its nighttime habitat. Can't tell. The door is open, but I don't know if he can get through it or not. But again, I'll be back in this area a little bit later. Maybe he'll be out. There's African rhinos, conservation crash. A group of rhinos is called a crash. This is the white rhino's outdoor habitat. She does have lots of room to roam around. I said I'll check back a little bit later to see if he's outside. Right, I can see the birds from this vantage point that I didn't see out. So I'm glad I got to see them. But they're coloring on their head. A little bit of pink. Oh yeah, giant termite mounds. Now, although these are recreations, they really do get this big out in the wild. It's become a food source for a lot of the hooved animals. Got Sotolo Hills. All right, lions. Got some little ducks enjoying the rain, I'm sure. Like this, they got the faux rocks. And really nice landscaping throughout. And I can see our male lion is out. This is looking through glass, so it's a little wet and smudged, so I apologize. That's why it looks like it's out of focus. Very nice though. Very There's the upper portion. See Mr. Lion was just having a drink of water. He's just walking around. Very nice kitty cat. Here we got an Egyptian Urmastix. Just hanging out. Nice looking lizard. Got a radiated tortoise. Looks like we got two of them. We got one here. And there's the other one. Got a white throated monitor. Guys, right here in his hollowed out log. So nice looking. That's pretty good. Get a nice close view of them. It's all about the desert. Alright, meerkats. Look at the meerkats. You hear them all the chittering and chattering. He's going to have one as a lookout before any others come out. There's always one watching, making sure the coast is clear. He's here looking for bugs. Okay, like giant Aldabra tortoise. Oh boy. Hey, buddy. That is a big tortoise.
There's a lot smaller Adaba tortoise. Still with its head hanging out and just resting or not really sure what these guys do. See more of the train station. I did ask at the beginning at the entrance if the train will be running and he did mention that as long as it's raining the train will not be running. Alright, showing you the map again. We see the African Delta. I'm right near number seven, the top of the map. I'm gonna go over and check out Australian Walkabout. Alright, Australian Walkabout. Okay, see, so we're not able to actually go inside with the animals right now to protect them. You see how fuzzy they are. Still get a good view of them on the outside, so that's fine. We got the Bennett's Wallaby. They're so cute and fuzzy. I just want to go up and pet them. But we can't. I did get to pet a Wallaby before at Bush Gardens Tampa Bay. Very, very fluffy. Soft to the touch. And Emu. Is the Emu. They are related to the ostrich and then the southern cassowary is their smaller relative we got this really nice gazebo multi-use zoos of yesterday and today and I'm so glad that zoos have changed I remember as a child Laurie Park Zoo which is my home zoo it's closest to where I live it was not very respectable but those days are past thankfully Got run wild nature discovery zone this area is not open at the moment understandable but there is restroom locations here with all the rain this area's had, it's interesting to know where all the water goes. Well, this tells you. I guess it's a rain garden. Also a good place for animals to be and insects. All right, so the right side portion of the zoo that was blocked off earlier is open. So I'm gonna go check this out. All right, we got Prairie Dog. If these guys go in all these tunnels, doesn't look like any are out at the moment. The only thing I see in this habitat right now is this bird. So for now, that's the male peacock habitat, I guess. Oh, I see a squirrel. I see a squirrely. Is this a squirrel habitat right now? Huh? Is this habitat all your squirrel? Yeah? Ooh, he's gonna go in there. Prairie dogs are going to chase them out. Very opportunistic animals. Alright, American Bison. Alright, so this guy is way in the back. Some zoomed up. To try to get him. I don't notice another path to get up closer to him. The world of reptiles and friends, unfortunately, it is off limits, which is a shame because I love seeing the reptiles and friends. Any friend of a reptile is a friend of mine. Now this is the petting zoo area, but that too is off limits for the safety of the animals. You see some crested screamer. This is a crested screamer. I cannot get any closer than this because of the barriers. This is called a shade garden. These are all shade hardy plants. All right, bald eagles. Very nice. 
Typically bald eagles in zoos are there because they're not able to live out in the wild because of injury. That prevents them from living a meaningful life out in the wild. And this is that noise you were hearing earlier. In the big lake right here. Got oyster restoration of the Lafayette River. All right, so I just made my initial loop around the zoo property. It's not a huge zoo, but there's actually some animals here I haven't seen at other zoos before, which is really nice. So I'm going to go back now that there is no rain, and any animals that I miss, hopefully they will be out. See one of the orangutans out walking around. All right, so the sun bear is out now. Birds. A nice look at the Vernacerous Hornbill. His wings spread, trying to dry. Yeah, I think it might rain again later, buddy. All right, so I came back to the Bitterongs habitat, hoping to see him. But as you can see, his nighttime habitat door is open, so he's going to be in the back there, more than likely. Because I looked all over his habitat, including up on a tree, and I didn't see him. But it's possible he's in a shrub somewhere. So I'm sorry I didn't get to see the bitterong. Another view of the Asiatic black bear. Bear. I want to meet one of these guys in the wild, of course. Got some big bear claws. Not the edible kind. Alright, so this is looking through glass. Back to see this little guy. The Asian small claw otter is out running around. However, I still do not see the white cheek gibbon. That doesn't look like I'll be able to show you him. But the otter's really cute. I'm right, back over here by the Maasai giraffe. See if I can see any other animals that are out. I do see an ostrich in the back. That giraffe's actually lying down. Look at that. Get a little bit closer to the ground. You know, chew on some grass. Got the cheetah. Walking around. Other one's in the same spot as it was earlier when I came by. Alright. Here you can see we there. go, ostrich. Oh, look at ostrich. Hi, Nips. Yes, we got two ostrich. So the only other animal I do not see is the yellow back duker. So the two white rhinos are outside now. Got this one further back. We got the other one here. We've just gone potty, so I waited. Didn't want to invade his privacy. Again, something around cassowary. 
So I'm sorry I did not see the yellow back duker. Must be inside or hiding somewhere where I can't see him. Alright, got the two white rhinos next to each other now. Glad I got to see a good view of them. Any radiated tortoises are up. Walking around now. And the white throated monitor is out of his hollowed out log. So you can see how big he is. Look, he's uh, some of his skin's coming off, which is totally normal. Just like a snake, they shed their skin. And the fuzzy meerkat. Get more of them out. Hi, fuzzies. Another fuzzy in the back. Peekaboo, I see you. So I did come back hoping to see the Hyrex, but its door is open and I hear a fan, so that's where I'd be. Much cooler in there. Alright, so I'm showing the map one last time. So you can see everything that I did see. There were only a few animals that were not on habitat. World of Reptiles was off limits. I also didn't get to see any of the farm animals. But all in all, it was a fun trip. I did get to see a few animals I haven't seen in other zoos before. That's always a plus. One of the other good things about the weather is there is not a lot of people here today, so I didn't have to interact with anybody, other guests, rather. So that was a good thing. I did have to wear my face mask anytime I went inside buildings, so when I woke up my drink earlier, I had to wear my face mask. Nowhere else inside the zoo is required unless you are in the congested areas. Today is not very busy only because of the weather, but all the animals that I was able to see, I did get to see. So I enjoyed my visit here, even with a few of the closures. So I hope you guys enjoyed my visit to Virginia Zoo. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. Leave me some comments down below. If you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. I upload new videos every Thursday. At least I try to. Always going to new places. So if this is the type of stuff that you like, this is the channel for you. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Exit into the gift shop. So this is where I got my hat this morning when I first came here. So in addition to hats, they have lots of shirts and sweatshirts. Got other shirts. Got lots of other stuff.